Recently, with all the hoopla going around on YouTube and such, with all of these different topics of people being in charge of World of Warcraft, I thought I would touch on the subject because truly and honestly, I think some people have very, very good ideas and I'm going to touch on those. And I think personally, Blizzard are making some questionable ideas and changes into their own game. So the things that I'm saying, obviously, they're my own opinion, so you don't have to agree with them, but I want to represent and show my opinions personally from someone who's been playing the game for quite a while so basically starting off with the first one is the big thing that I've always loved about this game especially back in vanilla and burning crusade and uh, ending it off with the wrath of the lich king were the talent trees and after cataclysm obviously a lot of you guys know they just were never the same and they just didn't feel great they were too simple and they cut them down and now uh, in worlds of drainer they're, they're basically nothing you choose a couple and it's very cookie cutter everyone does the same thing so what I wanted to do would bring bring back the old talent trees that we had back in probably burning crusade those were very very good moving on back in the day we had those great events that were set up by the GM's and they were very random throwing up uh, world bosses and people taking them down and stuff like that those would be sick if we can int implement some huge events uh, throughout the servers we're getting people in the community involved that would be really really cool I would definitely implement some of those now, I had this cool idea for something called, I don't know what it would be called, but maybe alliances or something like that, where up to five guilds can combine themselves into an alliance or whatever they're going to be called, obviously, and they can all fight together as a larger force. And of course, as many people want, there's going to be benefits and rewards for being the best alliance on the server, or again, whatever it's going to be called. Uh, now, also, I want to bring back the open world PvP that was so strong back in the day. Uh, people love getting huge raid groups together, going out and fighting against each other. Nowadays, it seems like no one wants to do that. You know, you, we have our Tolbarads and we've had these open world centered PvP maps, which just don't feel the same as, you know, getting a group together, um, maybe doing it with your guildies and just destroying some people. It's just not the same. So I would want to bring back the old, old open world PvP that we had back in the day, which I know is hard, but I'm sure uh, with a little bit of doing, it's possible. Now, personally, I think there are way, way too many difficulties for raiding. Uh, flex, I don't really, I mean, I understand where the game is at right now, but I think we should bring it back to just normal and heroic. I think those two difficulties are just a good spot to have raiding in. Uh, you know, having more than that seems a little bit ridiculous, so having normal for people who maybe want to go not as hardcore for heroic, it might be a little bit more casual, I think that's good, and then heroic for the people who, you know, the day ones, they're trying to get in on the raids, destroy them, and stuff like that. Uh, now moving on, also, people talk about making the game free to play, will it ever go free to play? Well, of course, eventually it's going to go to free to play. Uh, I think it's inevitable because of the state that it's moving in right now, you know, losing as many subs as it is, it's going to go to free to play eventually. But I would not want to see the game go to free to play. If I was in charge, I would have it pay to play. But the thing is, there's these microtransactions in the cash shop that I don't agree with. I would completely remove all of them. You know, not buying characters is ridiculous. Um, I would not do that. I wouldn't let you buy a character in the game so you can get a head start of leveling. Uh, I know obviously some people don't want to level so that's why they give it to you. They give the option uh, I just would get rid of it. I don't really see it the See it necessary because you know the game is pay to play It's not a pay to play and buy more so that people who are paying more get an advantage to those who are not who those are only paying monthly. I just don't see it as a Fair I'm not fair, but I don't see it's a good idea Those are just a couple of things that I thought of when I was uh, drawing up this idea for this video and I saw a lot of this on YouTube I watched a lot of videos and you're probably asking who is this guy making this video about what World of Warcraft he hasn't made a WoW video in five months well I've been playing this game for over eight years I took a little bit of a hiatus recently and a uh, break a couple years ago but I've been around this game for a very long time since vanilla so I know what's going on uh, obviously I'm not a developer or anything like that but I have a couple ideas I would love to know what you guys think. What would you guys want to do if you guys were in charge of World of Warcraft? Let me know in the comment section below or a reply video or something like that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, it always helps to leave a like, spread the word, and I'll see you guys in the next one.